it's Zara and tonight I want to talk about what I've been up to lately um, besides the clay I've been really into Zentangle um, and I'm, I've been doing lots of research lots of um, searches online and things and I want to, I want to talk about what I've discovered um, I've also I always had the um, micron pens this is what I mean when I say micron pens I used to do, back when I belonged to the painting chapter, we did pen and ink, it was called. I don't know why they called it pen and ink, but <clears throat> because pens and inks go together. But what you used to do is um, line drawing. So it, it's very similar to Zentangling, but more this style, like where you'd have a picture and then you did a bunch of lines. Not quite so doodly though. I wish I had a piece. I do have a piece, it's framed, and it's somewhere in this house, and I don't know where at the moment. I think it's in Maya's room. Anywho, um, so Micron pens, I've always had a few, and I went and I got a few more just to have them. Um, I actually bought them separately. Let me see, I bought, I think I bought, yeah, I bought, and then I bought a set of the colors. So the colored caps you see here, they're all O1s, but I just got them in blue. I mean, not blue, colors, okay? So that's what, it, it's, they're by Sakura, which we all love, that brand. I mean, they, they make a lot of the different products that um, scrapbookers use, the inks and, and pens and things like that. So... I also have had my Jelly Roll pens, and I'm coming to find out more about these, the different types, um, and what what other products Sakura makes um, in their pen line. So that's been fun, learning about that. Because, I mean, this is good because I've had a lot of these supplies. I haven't had to go buy them. So I'm going to just show you what I've been doing. So, you know, I I've been making ATC. So I'm going to take a class. It's at a, a pottery place. I, I want to say pottery. The place is called Glazed Over Studios. It's in Ocean City, New Jersey. But it's more of a mosaic pottery ceramics, I think. I'm going to, I'll let you know after I go. But they have a Zentangle class that they're offering where you're, we're going to do it on like a ceramic mug. So I'm very happy. I'm going to do probably a heart, very similar to this on one side. And then I'm probably going to write love, like a word on one side. So, But this is another version of a heart that I wanted to show you with the colored um, Micron pens in the 01 to do those um, dangle, or not dangles, uh, <laughs> patterns. So... That's another version of a heart. Then these, I was totally making a lot of. I'm gonna, I'll push this out of the way and I'll put these down so you can see them. But um, I don't, I made other ones too. <clears throat> and I already put them in my binder. But I had, I saw a video and it was by um, the Frugal Crafter. And she did just, it was just like a coloring tutorial. She did lots of, um, pencil work and all different stuff but I just wanted to include a lot of the Zentangle stuff I've been learning different doodles and her kind of idea to do this scene so basically it's a house and then I put the the sentiment home is where my heart is and I put that in a little cloud hers is similar but not exactly the same and I used my Wink Stella, and this is watercolored with, it's on watercolor, and then I backed it with, um, you know, the file folders. But I, uh, I watercolored it with the Tim Holtz markers, so the Distress markers. But I used Wink Stella. I changed it up a little bit, but there's like a little butterfly there. I don't know if you can see it. And there's like a little snail, and these little flowers were something new that I wanted to try. Um this brick pattern that brick pattern so just really fun of course i have to stickles it and all that stuff but i mean they're basically the same design just things are just moved around i actually made swirly um sun rays on some of the suns this is totally her son the frugal crafter's son she made swirly rays but i wasn't loving my swirly rays so i changed it but this is it again just in a different um <clears throat> The house is 
has different placement and I have a window on this house and it, it's in a frame as well so see how that makes it look different so and then this one's basically the same as that so I just kept doing the same design trying to um, get placement and really kinda I don't know um anywho so that was that and I did some other I was playing around with other designs as well I, I want to work on my flowers I want to try and figure out some go-to flowers that I like these I don't love but I was just playing around um, so again similar to that now these are different I'll come to them in a minute so this is my little notebook that I bought um, I got this at AC Moore it was like three five three to five dollars I forget I don't rem I think it's Canson but I don't remember what type of paper specifically I have a feeling it's a drawing paper now that I'm exploring more drawing and I wrote a little on the inside cover just about what Zentangle is, what it's meant to be. And then I started, when I very first started watching the videos on YouTube, I started writing, doing some of the um, patterns that I saw. Just some tips and different things that I was learning as I, as I learned more and more and more. Um, what different um, artists were telling me about it. And just writing that stuff down. Then... Let's see, then I was just getting crazy about patterns. See, here's that similar pattern right here that I just showed on the, um, oh, that's Kirby, on the ATC. So I just started playing, and this is when I first started playing with this idea. So I kind of did a rough draft. See these little swirly sun rays? I just couldn't get them consistent. I was really struggling with them. Um, and then I worked on my background to kind of figure out how it wouldn't look so crowded and stuff. Um, and then I started finding some rounded patterns that I wanted to play with and see how that went. Because I think what I'm attracted to is not just straights and tangling patterns, like patterns and shapes. I wanted to make... Um, a piece that was like a story or you know a theme like like a garden or so I found these really cute butterflies that I liked and this this tree was kind of cool and these flowers that's where I started seeing these little ideas for flowers and look there's the uh, the little snail now I didn't create any of these these were ideas that I saw like the Sun or whatever just this is ideas that I saw on videos, in books, on YouTube, I'm not YouTube, um, Google, I Google it, and then I just put in Zentangle, or it's called something else. Darn it, darn it, darn it, because I have these two Zentangle books. I think it's in one of these books, and I said it in my other video. But when you start doing it with a picture, here, this is it. Kirby, stop. Um, it's called a Zia which is a Zentangle inspired art. That's what they call a Zia string. So it's more, it's, it's, you're creating a picture with your strings, which strings, which are just what form your, um, sections that you want to, um, put your patterns in. So then these patterns are out of a different book that I want to get to now, but <clears throat> I happen to be in Michael's and they're changing my Michael's around. They've kind of, changed where the registers are and I mean not too much in the supply area I'll be right back no barking um but I was looking for this drawing pad because I've only been using um watercolor paper and this little book so I don't know specifically like I said because there was like a sticker um label on here and I took it off so I'm not positive what it said I forget um but I, I saw it on Facebook, actually. Um, I'm friends with a bunch of different art um, pages, right? So this one woman had done pen and inks, and she was recommending the Canson, and she called it illustration paper. So I went to find that, and I didn't find it, but I did find the Canson drawing paper. So that's actually what these... Um, <clears throat> actually, no, it's not, because... 
That is the different paper. I was playing, actually that is what these are on. These are on the Canton drawing paper. No, they're not. This is watercolor paper. I did, I did use it, but I don't know. I might have, I don't know. Anywho, um, I've been cutting this up into ACT size because I'm just going to keep it in my Zentangle little box um, for on the go. I'm just going to keep um, ATC size blanks in there so that I can work on them if I want. But this is a good smooth paper, right? So I got that. But as I'm looking around the store, I just so happened to find this book. I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't looking for it. But it's a beautiful cover, and I thought, oh, Zenspirations, letters and patterning. So I picked it up because there is a Zentangle book in there. It's like 25 bucks. And, and those of you who use coupons at Michael's know you can't use them on books. So, and I'm cheap. I don't want to spend full price ever if I can. I want to always get um, some percentage off. But anyway, I saw this book, so of course I'm looking through it. And I'm very, very excited by what I see. I'm loving it. And I'm just like, okay, who's the author? Joanne Fink. All right, I write that, make a note of that in my phone. I put it back. And I'm like, oh, well, how much was that book? I didn't even look. It's $16.99. So then I think, all right, hmm. Well, so I get it. I got the book. And I'm so, so glad that I did. This book is amazing. I would recommend it. Her work is sweet and easy. Um, I feel like I've been successful. I haven't tried, like, look at these little birds. I haven't tried any birds yet. I've tried some of the letters. They're a little tricky. And I'll show you the work that I've done. But she also has, and I'm going to look in my little notes here, a blog. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Her blog, I believe, is called Zenspirations. Yeah, dot com. That's her blog. So it's the name of the book. Um, and she has videos on Sakura Color Product on YouTube. That's the name of the Sakura um, page on YouTube. But also if you put in Joanne Fink on YouTube in the search bar, you'll find her videos. And they're amazing. She's a great teacher. I, Kirby, no. No. No, Kerb. I, um... I've taken lots and lots of classes and not all artists can teach and she is wonderful. She is absolutely expressive, expresses everything she's doing, why she's doing it and I would really recommend you guys checking out her videos and the book is fantastic. So I'll show you a little bit of what I've been doing. So the first thing I did, I just did all these patterns. She has her go-to patterns that she uses to fill in her, um, the things she does. But she also works for Zakura, and she has, um, I think it's a, a, a retail line out now. Kirby! What do you want? What is it? Did, did you... Did your ball go behind there? What happened? Yeah, I think so. Oh man, sorry. Kirby, what is it? What happened? No, none of that is for you, honey. You can't have this piece of wood. Oh my God, she wants this. No, you can't have it. This is um, a little block of wood that I use for my, um, <laughs> my pasta machine. No curb. But, and it was one of my art doll heads, but look, she got it before. So that's why I've been using it for my pasta machine, and she must have, she knew it was in there. Oh my God, how do dogs know that stuff? <laughs> All right, anyway, sidetracked. Sorry, Curb, you can't have it. But she's the one who, or Sakura, going to that um, YouTube channel, has really educated me on the Jelly Roll pens. And I am so excited. I'm definitely going to place an order. I'm going to get the Moonlight, probably. And I may try the glaze and the souffle because I believe you can write on something like this. There's one, one of them is um, raised lines like the glaze. It makes it like an embossed feeling. And the, um, the souffle, I don't know. But if you watch those videos, um, 
another woman, Fabe, Julie Fay Fen Bowser or whatever, she did a tutorial and I'll show you what she did. She was doing um, this, um, a cool face like this on the front of one of these um, books, like a, um, a journal. And hers just said, tell me your story or something, I forget. But she was using these pens because they write and stay on this type of a cover. So I think I'm gonna do a sugar skull. I've been totally exploring that and experimenting and looking at my sugar skulls and trying to come up with patterns that I could do and put a sugar skull on the front of here in beautiful colors with my Jolly Roll pens. So we'll see. We'll see. That will be, you know, I have to order everything and, and we'll see. Um, because Joann's, they're on sale right now now at Joann's, the um, Sakura, they're 40% off. So regularly 16 something, they're like eight bucks. So I think I'm gonna, um, I'm on a budget. I probably have to wait till Tuesday. Anywho, let me now show you what, um, all right. So then I go over and I, in my art supply section, I had this Strathmore drawing paper pad um, I've just had it forever, you know, I mean, I, I'm an art, I do art, so I've always had it, but it isn't white, it's kind of an off-white color, if you look at it, you can see, I mean, maybe not in my lighting, but it's definitely not white, white, um, so I was kind of like, yeah, when I saw, and then, but I'm like, this is what, um, Joanne Fink recommends, the Strathmore, and it's the 400 series, um, but that's exactly what I had. So that's what um, I've been I've been using this. So let me show you. So one of the things I did too was these frames. The, these are in her book, and there's entangled, but they're just frames. And I didn't even do the full detail on these because my flowers were too big. But she did a lot more little doodles in there in the corners. This one I love. This is so simple. It's just a vine going around um, the edge of the frame. And then this one was a lot more intricate. I think this was the first one I did and I just kind of went crazy um, putting patterns everywhere. But I tried to write a word, hope. My lettering needs some work. I've always, I can do bubble letters. I can do lettering, but I'm trying to do it with more of a calligraphy. I have a feeling calligraphy might be in my future too. Which, why not, guys? Why not, right? It's exciting to learn new things. I just get excited. So, I mean, I don't know that I'll ever make another um, mini album. I don't, I don't know. I think these pens will, I'll always do this. I'll always be able to do this. But, like, um, anywho, all right, let me show you what. All right, so here's the first page. Now, the create was an afterthought at the end and I was playing with letters. It was just because there was so much room at the bottom <laughs> that I I did, I just threw that down there. And that's actually colored with my um, Winkostella. I love my Winkostella. But this is basically a Zendangle, right? So, she has a book that's a dangling book and I think I'm going to order that too because I really like this. She does a card on the Sakura website that's for her mom. And this is basically the top of it. And then there's a space in the middle and she puts happy birthday, kind of in a, you know, and then mom in calligraphy letters. And it's just amazing. Like, I wanna do it. I wanna work on it. I wanna work on my technique and really um, try to do that type of um, art. So for right now, this is my first attempt and I love it. I mean, look at this, you can't go wrong. Then you color it in with your Jelly Roll pen. So I have mostly the Stardust, or these Stardust are, yeah, the Stardust, which is the glitter, <coughs> and I have the metallic. Those are the two I have. I don't have, um, like I said, I'm gonna get the Moonlight and, um, I think there's but the moonlight it's more of um, just an opaque color it's not shiny or anything it's just a uh, an opaque color I just want to say I'm gonna play with them um, but basically I did all the black on here is with the number 
Oh Jesus, my dog is crazy. The 01 um, Micron. And then I just started doing everything, all the different, like, let's say I can zoom in. You know how I hate zooming, guys. I'll forget what I did. But you kind of make these rods. She calls these rods at the top. And the card that she does, the one on the back of the book, see, look, here's hers. And I think she uses watercolor um, to um, color hers. Oh, she's playing. Kirby, what do you got? Oh, the ball. Anywho, I just had to play with, I think they're called Koi Watercolors. They're another product that um, Sakura makes, but I didn't, you know, obviously I don't have those. Um, and I really wanted to play with the um, Jelly Roll pens. So once I had played enough with the, the, the swirlies and the curly cues and the, her, her techniques, um, she's very clear about on her videos. Um, so you start with these rods and then you just start dangling. You start pulling lines and she's using these swirlies. I forget what she calls them, but she has a name for them. And I just love it. So that's the one of the first ones I did. I'm gonna zoom back out because I know. And like I said, I just had room at the bottom so I put create there and it's not anything I care to talk about. <laughs> so then I started just going through the book and playing with the, her style of writing letters with the, the idea that you're gonna add um, patterning to it and a butterfly that you're gonna add patterning to, a heart that you're gonna, add. and then there's this little um, the sunrise, right? So it's a scene again, but you're adding patterning to it. She adds movement lines. Um, this heart actually turned out pretty cool. Very, excuse me, very simple, but um, I colored that one in. I didn't love my shapes on the butterflies on here, so the next page I like much better. This heart I love. I think that heart, this heart turned out really nice because I liked the beginning shape. Like after I did the first one, same thing with the butterfly. After you do the first one, you kind of really realize what you like and what you don't like, so you can kind of tweak it. And then I love, I'm gonna do a, um, an ATC of this, probably a couple of them, because I wanna kind of practice and get used to the idea of these flowers. I just think they're so, they're like feminine. There's something very light about them, yet, I don't know. This one was, obviously you can see, I my lines were way too close on the stem, so I didn't have room, because I did, I, that's my first one, I never did it before, but then I did it again, this one, and this is what it was meant to do. It was meant to have a stem, and then these little leaves, and these swirlies and stuff, and then the tulip flower, so, and then she makes the hills, and she puts these movement lines. I mean, I love it, I don't know what you guys think of this, but I think it's amazing. And you know, I'm a copycat, so she's wonderful because she has put in print something that I can look at and her teaching style is amazing. So I'm telling you, I totally recommend checking out her videos. Um, this is just some letters. I just started um, <clears throat> trying to make the letters like she does um, by following her instruction um, and they take a little practice she's a calligrapher so she has beautiful lettering um, that's what she's done um, like look at the book see how they just look it looks better mine look messy I think right now but I'm figuring it out so then of course I did an S this is a pretty nice one I just added the frame after I did the S and the S is actually a little cockeyed like I think it should go like this but then my dangle should hang this way you know what I mean like everything would be but and I could have changed that if I just made another line come over so you can change alter the shape of them but, th but see how it kind of goes like that but then my dangles are going the wrong way but I added the dangles and these are called toppers when they come out of the top they're called toppers these are dangles, and then she has other um, words for things, like she talks about the baseline, because 
I think she reads music and she was trying to um, all right let me go to the next page because this is another one she was trying to think of this portion of this part as the staff where she would write in her musical notes and then these things see how they kind of look similar to like a music note like with the circles and the squares and the way she calls it um a cuff I think she calls these little things that I colored in see I don't know if you'll be able to see them these little sections the green the yellow those are called cuffs but see how it kind of is similar to like a music note so I think that's kind of what got her thinking she said she wanted to doodle music or something so anyway um this is my uh, my other zentangle that i are uh, sorry this is a zentangle but i wanted to do on the back she has these two things that i loved because it has create doodle draw design play um and then she had love too these are just hearts but there was one that had love i think that might be in the book so of course i wanted to add them and I probably should have put this one on the end design wise like I could have I was just playing and I didn't know what it was going to turn out like so and then these up here are called toppers those anything that comes out the top um, is called a topper so um, I know this video got really long but guys I am excited and I'm loving so this is my first little um book i'm kind of filling it up i'm just using it to kind of play and learn and feel the um the, the way the pen is on the paper and stuff like that so um i hope this leads me to my own designs eventually and i think it probably will i'm just going to bring these couple of clay pieces in real quick people were asking to see them and if you were patient and waited till the end of this video you got you get to see them I can't get this off <laughs> all right I got it off so I did not end up baking the bottle that I made with the same theme I did not like it all my faces got squished you couldn't really see the faces the faces um, lost their definition but I love the ATC it turned out pretty cool and then this is the bottle it's black glitter clay with flowers all right, you guys, I hope that wasn't too much. I'll put out all the information in the description box so you guys can go and zendangle with zenspirations. All right, thanks for watching.